My name is George Lois. I'm a um, art director extraordinaire. Well, one of the great ones, obviously, was the Think Small ad, uh, which actually was done in 1959. It was a, a line created by uh, Julian Koenig, who became my partner a year later when we started our own agency. That attitude and that point of view was strictly com came out of his mind. You know, he, he looked at the, the at it and said, think small. And then once you create a line like that, it took on a life of its own, and it was a counterattack against the advertising of all the car advertising that had been done, done before. Our car advertising before that said, every year you change your model, you, you, you buy another model. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, the, it's the materialism, is, you, it's wasted, you buy something new. Doyle Dane Bernbach's Think Small Ed said, you buy a Volkswagen, it, it is a constant car, it's small, it's, it's terrific, it works well, it's ugly in this beautiful way. Uh, and it just kind of changed the whole attitude about almost all kinds of advertising. We're kind of talking about almost any kind of product. It, it told the truth and it told it in a startling way. And it kind of changed in a, in, in a way the way people looked at all products. What was startling about it is that basically, as I told Bill Burnback, uh, I, 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 I figured out our marketing problem in, in creating the advertising and that was that we had to sell a Nazi car in a Jewish town. He didn't uh, t take very well to it, to the line, but that's exactly what we did. I mean, you got to stand 14 years or something like that after Second World War, um, you know, uh, a couple of million uh, Jewish people were driving, uh, in America were driving Volkswagens, you know. I mean, that's the most startling thing I've ever heard of in my life, you know.